Hi everybody, Claire Maxwell here with Mobile Alignment and the Alexander Technique. What I'd like to talk about today is your tongue. And my mission with my work is to make your movement life easier. And it might be a surprise to you that I'd want to focus on your tongue because it's not something that people who learn uh, movement think about a whole lot, but it's a pretty big muscle and it is connecting structures of your neck with structures of your head. And as a muscle, it's traveling a lot between those uh, parts of you. And it's also really helping you with expression, which is so huge for us to be able to express ourselves in language and sound. So there are some mobile alignment points that can provide an easy kind of lighthearted way into this. Um, and I want to share them with you. If you've been watching the work, you've, you've heard about them before. So I'll just throw out the points first. And I might have to show you some pictures also so that you know what I'm talking about. So the first point um, is a place on your body. And it really doesn't take a lot of effort to pay attention to it. You can kind of see it. It's the tip of your nose. So you can touch it. And as you shift your attention to it, just notice how that affects you. You know, it might bring you a little bit more into yourself. So you can play with that a little bit and see What's it like to know where your nose is and see where you are and feel your feet on the ground? So it's possible to be aware of that point without uh, focusing on it exclusively. Now our attention is really able to be light uh, and not fixed. And so that's one of the first principles of mobile alignment is that when we try to hold our attention in a fixed way, it's very difficult for us to function. And becoming aware of parts of ourselves can really stimulate us into fixing our attention. So I try to get in there and loosen that whole thing up a little bit. So another point that's related that is helpful for your tongue is the back of your skull. Uh, so we have a point right in the middle of the back of your skull bone. And um, yeah, you can't see it. So it's kind of hard to know where it is. And um, this guy doesn't have a nose, but you can see, I'm gonna have to do this, you can see that the back of the skull point would be kind of at the bottom of the, this big bone in the back. So those are two points that are key. The third point, would be at the tip of your jaw right here. So just knowing in a lighthearted way, the reason I have those three points is because those are different areas for our nervous system. The jaw has a whole different nerve the nose, even your um, sensation of it when you touch, your nose is a different point, it's a different bone, and the back of your skull is also a different nerve plexus and a different bone. And sometimes we just get all, everything gets glommed into one picture. So into that picture, with its little different locations, we're going to put the hyoid point which is for this bone here. Um, get as close as I can so you can see it. 
It's a floating bone. I've done videos on it before. And um, you can't really touch it, but you can touch the cartilage of your voice box, and then it's kind of higher up. And the reason that this point is your front, the friend of your tongue is because the back bottom of your tongue muscle is connected to it. And I don't understand a whole lot about how that works in terms of physics and mechanics, but I do know that my tongue affects my balance. If I'm pulling it back, my whole body has to adjust. If it's on the roof of my mouth, mm, like it would be for making an mm sound, that affects my balance, affects my uh, posture. If I move it right and left, there's a lot of movement. So becoming aware of these points isn't really that there's an appropriate or right way for them to be, but actually just to know that they have mobility and expression and um, many different ways that they can relate to each other. And the thing I'm really enjoying is knowing that my tongue can be more with my head, with these two parts, this point and this point, that it could be ah, more with my jaw, that it can go and travel easily between those two places. And then finally, that when my tongue moves, um, that my hyoid point, that place in me, will be moving. And so anything I do uh, that causes this area of me to lock down is gonna make all of that a little bit harder, you know? So I hope that's helpful for those of you, um, maybe those of you who haven't thought about your tongue and what it might have to do with gesturing your arms or shifting your weight when you're uh, shifting your weight back and forward that these parts of your body are participating and that it includes your tongue so peace and love i hope that was helpful thanks for watching